Hey everyone, my name is Tim Grant, and today I am reading Rene Descartes' Meditation. This one is the second uh, version, or the second meditation. And so something happens when I read some philosophy stuff. I always have to read a sentence over and over and over. So I have literally been stuck on this single sentence for about half an hour now. I've been reading it and reading it and reading it and trying to like conceptualize it and understand each part of it and it, it's just, let, let me read this sentence to you. And thus I know for certain that nothing of all that I can understand by means of my imagination belongs to this knowledge that I have of myself. Oh my gosh, maybe I'm just really dumb, but this sentence, okay, so I'll tr let's try to break it down. <laughs> let's see if I can. Um, and thus I know for certain. Okay, so he knows this for certain. What's about to follow, what he's about to say is what he knows for certain. So what he knows for certain is blank. That nothing of all that nothing of all okay this tripped me up too nothing of all how do you like a negative plus everything so hmm this is like that nothing of all so like I don't know why this is giving me such trouble, but it's just weird to have a negative plus all, nothing, all. Okay, so like maybe he's talking about knowledge in this. He'll go on to talk about knowledge, so I'll say it in terms of knowledge. So all of my knowledge contains the numbers, let's say, one, two, three, four, five. So nothing of all my knowledge contains the number negative one. Because negative one is not in that, in my, in my knowledge bank, let's just say. In my knowledge bank, there is no negative one. So in all of my knowledge bank, there is no negative one. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> so weird. Anyways, um, okay. Where was I? That nothing of all that I can understand by means of my imagination. Okay, how can I break this down? So, nothing of all, but instead of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it's all that he understands. Of all that I understand, nothing. You can see how this has taken me like half an hour, reading this one sentence over so many times. Okay. That no, nothing of all that I can understand by means of my imagination. Okay, so all of his, everything that he understands from his imagination, cr uh, created from his imagination, this... All, all from his imagination is what he's uh, I really feel so stupid every time I read philosophy uh, it's one sentence I really should uh, okay let's read it again okay I'm going to read the, the entire sentence again just so that we can, yeah. And thus I know for certain 
that nothing of all that I can understand by means of my imagination. And thus I know for certain that nothing of all that I can understand by a means of my imagination. <sighs> Come on. Thus I know for certain. So everything that he can, no, it's not everything that he can understand is from his imagination. It's this specific area of knowledge. Okay, so his, all that he knows, maybe he knows like, hmm, how can I, uh, I'm trying to think of a, a way to explain it. That, All right, here we go. Maybe this is, let's just say that this is from Japan and this is Chinese right here. Pretty. Anyways, Churu Ping An. Anyways, <laughs> not the point. So, okay, this is from China, this is from Japan. And I wonder where this is from. Uh, not the point getting sidetracked. Anyways, so he's not talking about, maybe this is his entire knowledge, right? So this one, instead of being from Japan, could be from his imagination. Maybe this right here, instead of being from China, could be from, from like experience or something like this. So both of these are knowledge, right? It's both knowledge. But he's talking about all from here. He's not talking, he's excluding this. He's saying, uh, well, he's saying nothing of all. But he's talking about this. He's not talking about this. So this excluded, okay? We're just talking about this. I think that's what he means. Okay. Keep going. Um... by means of my imagination. So all that he understands by imagination belongs to this knowledge that I have of myself. So he has... Okay, so a little bit of context to that sentence, so I think this requires context. The other parts didn't require context, but this does. So he was talking about, um, Descartes is the philosopher who says, um, I think therefore I am. So he, the basic idea of the meditations is to figure out what he knows for certain. For example, if I bring the, no, I don't wanna bring this back, because this is imagination. Anyways, how do I know that this is real? If I touch it, well, I could be deceived. Anyway, so he's talking about he is a thinking being. The, the phrase, I think that I don't exist, is an impossibility. You cannot think that you exist because by thinking, you are existing. Now, he doesn't say if, if um, you're a human, right? Because maybe I, I'm just a mind. But there's something, I, this I, I think, therefore there has to be an I. Right? Okay. So that's what he's saying. Um, and then he goes on to talk about um, the, okay, like, let's see. Um, 
comes to this knowledge that I have of myself. And thus I know and thus I know for certain that nothing of all that I can understand by means of my imagination belongs to this knowledge I have of myself. Oh, it doesn't... Ah! The knowledge he has of his, his self is that he... What I just explained. He exists... Because he is a thinking, perceiving... Just because he... Because he is a perceiving being, or thinking being, he exists. He doesn't know if other people exist. He doesn't know if anything. He's only talking about himself. He, the thing he knows for certain is that he exists. That's what he knows for certain. So that's what he means when he says... When... Come on, now where is it? This knowledge that I have of myself. This is the knowledge that he has of himself. Okay, so I understand that part. Now I'm going to try to fit that into the rest of the sentence. And it's this knowledge that he exists, right? This knowledge that he... That he exists. What does that have to do with his imagination? All right, I'm going to read it again. And thus, I know for certain. He knows for certain this. This what I'm about to say. This is 100%. He knows this. That nothing of all... Nothing of... Oh, come on. We just talked about this. Ugh. Nothing of all... How do I... Mm. Yep. That nothing of all that I can understand by means of my imagination belongs to this... <sighs> okay. And thus I know for certain that that nothing of all that I can understand by means of imagination so nothing of all that I can understand from imagination so nothing of all all this nothing that I can understand from imagination belongs to this knowledge. What does that mean? Belongs to this knowledge. And that's okay. I think I think I have an idea. I think I know what it means. Okay, let me explain what I think it means. Um I think what he's saying is that this information is diff this is, um, I think what he means is that this is, like, this was imagination, right? So he's saying, nothing of all of this belongs to this. And this would be the, I think, therefore I am. This right here is a different type of knowledge, right? This is imagination. So this is, when I touch the pen, I feel it. Now, the reason he says that this is imagination is because maybe it could be wrong. Maybe I'm just feeling my brain is being tricked, right? Maybe because let's say you dip this into water as an example. You see that it bends because the light, you perceive it differently. But does it actually bend? No. So you can't trust your senses. So that's in your brain it's imaginary he's now he says maybe t even touching it maybe that's a trickery so he's saying this information and this information are different 
there are two types of information or of knowledge. This is his knowledge, right? That these are different. So nothing of all information in this one. Um, and thus, I know for certain that nothing that nothing of all that I can understand by means of imagination belong to this knowledge that belong to this knowledge that I have of myself. None of this belongs to the knowledge I have of myself. <laughs> got it. I got it. I think I understand that sentence. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to read it one more time just to yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> okay. And thus, I know for certain that nothing of all the knowledge I... I'm going to be precise. Say every word correctly. Come on. You can do this, Tim. And thus, I know for certain that nothing of all that I can understand by means of my imagination belongs to th this knowledge that I have of myself. Okay. I th yeah. I did it. I, oh my gosh. I have been struggling with that. Oh. Why? Why? I don't know why that took me so long. I was... I've been trying to get that one sentence for so long now. I read it over and over and over and over and over and over. And I tried to... I was using a whole bunch of hand... Mo if you could have saw me, I was like doing so many hand motions trying to understand this one sentence oh I don't maybe I am just really stupid but yeah that took me a long time <laughs> anyways thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope that you guys enjoyed it or learned something from it or so got something out of this video if you liked it please subscribe and also follow me on facebook my name is tim grant t-i-m-g-r-a-n-t all right see you guys oh i'm ridiculous <laughs>